Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Today we're going to look at the White Artisans from Theory 11. Actually, we're also going to take a look uh, really briefly at the Black Artisans, but being that they're very similar decks, um, we'll just go over this one briefly. Uh, the Artisan series was designed by Simon Frouse. He lives out in South Africa, and kind of like many other uh, recent deck designers, Simon Frouse, uh, he specifically specializes in brand identity, and so he does a lot of um, designs for packaging for like wine and coffee and other luxury goods. Um, currently, Simon's designs, they uh, span over about 85 different brands, and uh, he has clients all over the world. And if you'd like to learn more about Simon Frouse, you can go to cargocollective.com slash Simon Frouse. Um, just take a look at the tuck box real quick. Um, the tuck box is interestingly enough sealed with a red tax stamp. It's a, a vintage sticker and it's marked with actually the exact month and year that these decks were printed. And you're also gonna find that on the Ace of Spades as well down there at the bottom. Uh, the box is embossed. It does have a gold foil that runs throughout the entire thing. And of course, uh, their Ace of Spades is gonna be on the front with the uh, artisan branding on the back and the script on, on both sides. Actually, all the way around this box is, is very elegant. Um, you are gonna get one gaff with this deck. Um, it's a double backer. And just take a look at the back design. Uh, the back design has an AG at the top and the bottom and it says the Guild of Artisans at the top. And if you don't know, an artisan is a craftsman, kind of like a mason or a skilled laborer. And that's kind of reflected all throughout the back. The white artisans have a gold foil accent and the black artisans have a silver foil accent. Uh, you're going to get two jokers with this deck that are both uh, original to the artisan brand and you're also going to get this beautiful um, gold accent ace of spades that's also um, reflected in the tuck box. And the uh, pip cards, they're pretty standard. Uh, there really isn't a whole lot of uh, difference in these other than I think the colors are just um, really bright, I think they pop. And then the court cards uh, are all going to be standard as well, and they're all going to have that same um, gold foil accent that goes throughout the entire set. So just to take a look at the Black Artisans really quick, uh, the Black Artisans are very similar uh, to the White Artisans. The only major difference is with the White Artisans, you're going to get a gold foil accent through the courts and through the back design. And then with the black artisans, you're going to get a silver foil accent through the quartz and the back design. Otherwise, you're going to get the same gaffs and the same design jokers and the same court cards. The artisans are actually featured in the May 2013 issue of Departures Magazine. Uh, David Copperfield called them the best playing cards ever produced. And uh, I think these cards handle great and they're very attractive to look at. I would recommend them for magic or even for gameplay. I mean, who am I to go against the recommendation of David Copperfield? And so that's it for me. And like I said, if uh, you like these cards, please go and purchase them from theory11.com. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Twitter and you can like my page on Facebook. Thanks, bye.